how do we allow our vision to speak? I was very fortunate. Growing up in Ukraine, I was immersed in study of both visual art and dance from very early in life. So I can compare how these two modes of art relate to vision in my experience. For me, dance is not about vision at all. I'm not really interested in looking at dancers. For me, dance is about surrendering, entering a state of flow, and dissolving into a greater whole, where boundary between self and other is far smaller than it is in any other area of life. And it's in that dissolving that a greater wisdom emerges through just putting one foot in front of the other or be behind one of the other and trusting our movement self to guide us to where we need to go. Now, two-dimensional visual art, I'm primarily a painter, it might be different for sculptures, for me is all about vision. It's all about allowing ourselves to receive information visually, directly, without mediation by our minds, without thinking about what is it and what does it mean. Now, it does take some practice and some discipline, and for this allowing to happen, it might be a good idea to start from looking inward from really tuning in, and maybe for starters, even closing our eyes, allow for our inner sense of being to bubble up, and from there, allow visual information, colors, shapes, lines, to come to us. Of course, starting from just our small self will only give us small answers, so it's hugely important that we allow ourselves to cross beyond of what we think are our boundaries, to go to that place of the greater whole where we can see from beyond our little self, from beyond our limiting beliefs. And then trust ourselves that seeing what is important will come to us if we allow I recently came back to practicing vision improvement techniques that will allow people, even as adults, to both reduce or sometimes even eliminate their prescription glasses. And what I've learned that the foundational secret beyond greater vision, clarity of physical vision, is the same. It's about relaxing, surrendering, allowing our world to be constantly in motion and using our imagination and trusting that what we need to see will come to us if we surrender, relax, let go, open up, embrace everything that comes, and first and foremost, trust and appreciate everything around, everything that is being kind enough to send us the information that we need in this moment.